Hi guys, so I'm here with another video and this time uh, we'll talk about the conditional formatting because the question which uh, the student raised uh, he said that he's looking he has this table uh, I have already prepared a dummy data so he has these headers he has some company names and he's working in you know wherever he's working he hasn't mentioned the company name but he said that he's looking for a uh, this kind of a uh, you know formula or the adjustment that uh, whenever he uh, opens this workbook file right uh, which means right now this is book one I haven't named it but whatever the book name is the workbook name is whenever he opens the file every day he's opening the file and he wants to see is that uh, uh, just one day prior to this due date you know these cells should be highlighted or they, there has to be some mechanism which can help him in uh, noticing that you know due date is just coming the next day and he can ask the companies he can send the emails to the companies so that you know he can tell them that you know your due date is tomorrow so you're supposed to make the payment right so it's something like this that the due date for this company is 6th May so what he wants is wants is that on the 5th May just one day prior to the due date he should be given an alert you know from the Excel that look the due date is coming just the next day and you're supposed to reach out to the companies right similarly for the company B uh, it's a due date is 4 5th of June so it has to be uh, you know uh, the alert should be given to this uh, person on the 4th of the June so just a one day prior to the due date right so there are a number of methods uh, uh, with the help of which you can do it but I'm going to tell you about a very simple way of doing it and that's the conditional formatting uh, so what you want to do is before applying this conditional formatting I'll let me just um, make you understand the logic what we are going to do is so there is a formula called the today you know if you don't know the formula then please take a note of this this is the formula today uh, if I write this then what will happen is I'll get the today date like today when I'm recording this video uh, on my system you know on my this laptop the date which is it is uh, uh, your 5th of March right tomorrow we have a holy so I'm wishing a very happy holy to all of you just enjoy and please play safe right so uh, this function will return you uh, this 5th of March which is a today date and if I just drag it down you know I have got the 5th March everywhere now what will happen is what is the logic we are going to do is we are simply going to say that the difference between these two dates the due date and the today date you know it, sh it should not be it should be exactly equals to 1 right so you see the difference is 62 days 92 days and the 10 days because we, you have the 15 March here and today is the 5th of March so obviously you know we are still have the 10 days left to uh, reach uh, to the 15th of March and similarly between 5th of June and you know 5th of March we have the 92 days so this is how you can uh, do the difference uh, between the two dates now the point is uh, what I'm trying to make is this function is dynamic function today so it means means that today it is showing 5th of March but tomorrow when you open this file again you'll see that this 5th of March will be changed to 6th of March right because today will automatically capture the today's date from your system right so you really need not to be uh, worry about this formula this is a quite dynamic formula this is not a static formula which is not gonna change every day you keep opening this file or whenever you op will open this file whatever the date your system will have uh, it will actually give you the date right so now what we are going to do is suppose um, let me try to explain this like this I'm, I'm changing this date to let's say 5th of March uh, not the 5th uh, but the 6th of March right which is tomorrow so if I do this enter you see the difference is 1 so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say that if the difference between these two dates for all the cells you know against their due dates is going to be 1 then please color them and we'll use the red color you can use uh, whatever color you want right so this is how uh, we are going to work on this now let's see how we are going to implement the result so first you select this entire table you may have thousand rows two thousand rows so you need to select all the rows go to the conditional formatting and go to the new role and under this new role you have n number of you know uh, things which are very very good uh, Microsoft has given us a lot of you know uh, your these formulas and these scenarios uh, which you can use in your day-to-day -day life uh, especially in uh, Excel 2007 and the onwards uh, but I'm interested uh, in this last option which says use a formula to determine which cells to format so obviously I'm gonna use formula so I'm using this option now it clearly says you know that format values where this formula is true so it means we'll have to use those colors you know we'll, we'll apply those colors and they'll bring in effect only when this formula is going to be true and what my formula says is the formula is formula says equals to 
this date which is the due date minus my today okay I'll write it like this so that this will give me the today date so is it is going to return me 5th of March uh, if I open this workbook today right if I use this workbook today tomorrow if I'm gonna open this this will be changed to 6th of March and so on right so their difference has to be one okay as I was just telling you here right so this formula I have written here and I'll have to remove this dollar please please make a note of it you'll have to remove the dollar too because otherwise what will happen is this entire cell will compare the today date with the C2 cell always with the C2 and it is not going to uh, make the C2 as C3 and C4 you know because you know you are moving downward so every time the due date is different for the different companies and you'll have to compare today date with their due dates not with the company A date right so this is something which I talk about the significance of the dollar sign which comes in my you know the basic Excel training uh, absolute and relative referencing but I I assume that you must be knowing that in case if you're not just please ensure it has to be removed from here otherwise every time this function will check the due date 6th March which is wrong because in company B of course we'll have to check the due date of the company uh, B which is not 6th March but 5th of June right so what formatting you have to do is I'm leaving this option to you but I'll choose the red color because red is used for the alert right for the alarm but in case if you're not don't, don't like this color you can select any color you know and you can see the samples are here so you can choose whatever color you want so font I'm gonna choose this white you can make it bold in case if you want but I'm not going to make it bold right that's the text color basically not the uh, not the cell color it's the text color right so I'll you can even use this strike through option right in case just in case if you want to use it so let me just write it okay and let's press ok and let's do this stuff okay you see this now 6th March is highlighted because tomorrow is 6th March and the uh, today is 5th March so eventually now I can delete this that 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 was just for your uh, you know understanding so now you see uh, whenever if uh, I'll open this file like today I have opened this file so 6th March is there's a difference uh, of just one day between today and tomorrow so it has given me the alert that okay this file is now this company has to be uh, uh, you know given a reminder that please make your payment right so similarly uh, these companies where when you'll have your uh, 4th of June in this scenario the company will be red and when you'll have this uh, you know 14th of March your company C will be red right you can test them for example I'm gonna change this uh, let's say tomorrow I'll make the date again the same date as I have the for the company A and if I press enter it has to be red you see this is red why because today is 5th of March so there's just a one day of a difference so you need to open this file every day and you can check it out all the red entries and yes that can give you a very uh, uh, you know uh, good amount of idea that who which company is supposed to be uh, sent the reminders right so I hope you like them like my videos and uh, to watch uh, more uh, you know uh, such more videos you can subscribe to my channel and I will be covering the basic and the advanced Excel pro program if you want to um, get the training please let me know these are my email IDs aj underscore kum underscore 81 at the rate yahoo and ajk 3802 at the rate gmail.com don't forget to sur subscribe and uh, if you like the video please don't forget to like the video all right so I'm signing off see you with some another video have a very good day and once again wish you a very very happy holy thank you very much bye